quick tech tip. Atmospheric pressure, an important part of understanding NPSH by the John Brooks Company. The surrounding atmospheric pressure is very important to most pumping applications and in particular to what is known as net positive suction head required or MPSHR. So let's quickly investigate how this pressure is generated. The Earth's atmosphere is a relatively thin layer of gas and vapor that surrounds our planet. The density of this layer, known as air, generally gets greater as we get closer to the Earth. This is due to the air being pressed against the Earth's surface by gravity. In short, air has weight. If we try to measure the pressure exerted at the bottom of this column using a pressure gauge, or even a compound gauge, we will get a value of zero. Why is this? Well, gauges measure the difference in pressure between the port and the environment. Since in this case, the port is exposed to the environment, there will be no differential reading. This may lead some people to think there is no pressure, but they would be wrong. So how do we measure the atmospheric pressure with, say, this compound gauge? We could place the compound gauge in the wall of a sealed vessel, then remove all of the air from the vessel. Or, just have the vessel built and sealed in outer space and brought back down to Earth. The gauge now will read the difference between the environmental pressure, in this case the atmosphere, and the pressure at the threaded port inside the vessel. The gauge should read about minus 14.7 psi, which can be expressed in many other units, and is recognized as the standard sea level atmospheric pressure at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. If we were now to start lifting the tank upward, we would start to see the gauge move towards zero. Given a certain altitude above sea level, there are tables that tell us these atmospheric pressure values. Finally, the gauge will read zero when the tank reaches outer space. This is where a perfect vacuum, or zero absolute pressure, exists in both the tank and the environment. So, the next time you walk past a gauge that is tapped into a pipe or any other sealed vessel that reads zero, remember there is still pressure in there.